when the sun shines in Cornwall, it's a brilliant time to be alive. Especially when you come out in the driveway. And then another Alfa Romeo over here for me to sit in and do videos. And yet, even with the sun shining, an Alfa Romeo to sit in. Today is one of the most depressing days in the world. I mean, really, I should be wearing all black. I should have a black hat on, black armband, black jacket, just black everything. It's just the most depressing day ever, isn't it? If you haven't seen the news, and this came out a couple of days ago, but I've been that bereft, that inconsolable. I haven't done a video for two days because I, I just couldn't cope with it. it. It's like finding out that Father Christmas doesn't exist or that whatever myths are there. Oh, look, the fuel gauge is on the wrong side and uh, doesn't indicate where the fuel flap is. All these like mysteries, the things that you relied on in childhood that kept you alive. And one of mine was that Alfa Romeo is the greatest car in the world, in my opinion, and I love them. And they're brilliant to drive and they're so much fun. And that's why I've owned, and I was trying to add this up yesterday. Um, I think it's 20. It could be more. But as you've seen, there's a spider in the driveway. There's a Juliette on the road. Uh, there's a 147 normally parked in front of it. That's at the moment the quota. But then there's been another five 147s, five 159s, three 156s, one 166 that I should never have sold, but I did sell. There's been two GTs. I love them. And I think they're great. And they make me smile when I drive them. And yet, Alfa Romeo have done the unthinkable. Some would say inevitable. I say unthinkable. And it's just so upsetting that this week, Alfa Romeo have launched something called the... I don't mind. They've named it after me. The Tonal. Which I think is Italian for Tony. Um... The tonal or tonal. I, I prefer tonal. Tonal makes it sound like it's good. Here's what it looks like. And normally, right, this is the point where I go, and it's got a 1.75 TBI engine in it that produces 240 brake horsepower, revs to 7,000, and it's brilliant. Or it's got the 2.4 JTTM. You could, you could get that in Celtic tuning and get out the 280 brake horsepower with a remap and you'll still get 40 to the gallon out of it and what a brilliant car that is and bloody 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 blah but I'm not going to say any of that because it's a milk float Alpha have produced a milk float <sighs> apparently it goes quite fast I don't care it won't go around corners because it's a milk float so it'll be too heavy um, and it's it's based on a Jeep. It's not based on an Italian sports car. It's based on a Jeep. An American, a 4x4. So it's a bloody SUV. It's American. It's a Jeep. It's going to be heavy. It's going to be slow. It's going to be lumbersome. It's going to be... I mean, I've got a test drive one. Don't get me wrong. But I will do it through tears. Real tears. Uh, and it, I'll be as conflicted as the day I needed Man United to win. And it really upset me. But I did win a lot of money. So, you know, it, it's that, that type of dilemma I'm in. I want to love it because it's an Alfa Romeo. But I'm going to hate it because it's a milk float. Um, i got some stats here on it. None of them are interesting. Um, it's got 19-inch diamond cut 5 old wheels. They won't last long, it's too heavy. It's got a powered moonroof. That'll come in handy for looking at the stars while you're sat charging it for five hours on the side of a motorway. It's got driver assistance, parking assistance and all that. But see, it says it's got parking assistance. It says it's got driver assistance. It doesn't say it's got extra lower suspension with Brembo brakes and 
extra big calipers so that you can go fast and stop fast. And it's got weight reducing this and it's got carbon fiber. It doesn't say any of that. It just says about all the driver assistance and parking assistance and all the electric shit that will reduce your range when you use it anyway. Oh, it's just so sad, isn't it? It's so sad. I wanted this to be a happy day. The sunshine is the first time it hasn't pissing rained for years. And yet here I am, sat in a car that's too hot because I didn't bother to turn the air conditioning on, moaning about the fact that Alfa and Mayo have made a bloody milk float and ruined my weekend. Ah. Oh. Anyway, I'm glad I've got it off my chest. I am going to attempt to enjoy the rest of the weekend. I hope you enjoy your weekend. Don't worry about the milk float thing. It's just a passing phase. We've got to keep telling ourselves that petrol will prevail or hydrogen or synthetic fuels or something, anything but the milk float. And Alfa Romeo is just doing this so it continues to make things like the Julia Quadrifoglio, which it couldn't make under stupid EU emissions laws unless it produced a milk float to tick some boxes. So maybe that's all it is. It's like when Aston Martin produced that little smart car thing. What was that called? Named after a bird or something, wasn't it? I can never remember. But it was literally so they could carry on making V12s. Um, oh, here you go. I've bucked up a bit now. That's why Alpha are doing it. For the same reason that Aston Martin did it. I feel better about life now. Um, so uh, enjoy your weekends. Um, and then uh, the next video is even more scary and depressing. So uh, that's something to look forward to, isn't it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> no, it isn't. Future my arse.